Alright, in this video, we're going to show you how to repair an LG Flattron L196WTQ that is having power problems and will not power up. This particular model, or this particular unit, um, when you apply power to it, all you get is a blinking power light, no display, and it will never power up. Uh, so we're going to show you how to take it apart and do that repair on it. First thing you need to do, of course, is remove the base and remove the power and the video cables from the unit. Next thing you need to do is turn it over. There's four screws in the center of the case. Those will need to be removed. Turn the unit back over and start removing the plastics. Um, easiest way to do that is if you grab it in the center and the bottom and kind of lift up and twist it just a little bit, it'll start popping loose from the connectors. And then you just kind of work your way around, lift up the same thing on the ends, and then on the corners they will pop loose. Just kind of work your way around. Now we have the front off, and we'll flip it over, remove the back panel, and set that to the side. And then this is the RF shielding that encloses the power supply. This is the part that we're going to need to get into. So to do that, what we'll do is remove the RF shielding that covers the backlight bulbs. That will just kind of lift up. Now on this end, you'll see where the backlights plug onto the board. Those are just going to unplug. Then on the opposite end, you have the control that goes up to the front control panel. It's a control cable. And on that, we'll just disconnect that from the front panel. It'll just kind of unplug there. Then you can take this whole assembly and rotate it around to get to the power supply board that we're going to be doing the repair work on. And we need to remove it from the RF shield. There's a couple of screws to do that. On this one, while we're pulling it out, um, you can visibly see there are several capacitors that have bulging tops on them. That's a sure indication of failure. So when we remove and replace those capacitors, the power supply board should be back up and functional and we should have a you know, fully working monitor again. Okay, we have the board unscrewed from the chassis. And then we just have one cable that goes to the control board and it's a squeeze lock connector so you squeeze it a little bit and then it will work free. And here's the power supply board that we're going to be doing the repair work on. So we'll go ahead and take it over to the soldering station, remove the bad capacitors, replace them, and see if we can get this unit back up and going.